evening YouTube. In today's video I've come to a nice point. I was uh, meant to be going to have a look at the fairy pools which I didn't mention in last week's video. Um, unfortunately it rained after that kind of after I filmed that video and it just pretty much rained most of the day really. I'm all for going out in bad weather as you know shooting uh, but not when it involves a um, probably an hour hour and a half round trip uh, with everything getting wet electrics and water just don't really mix um, so I've come to a nice point it's about 45 minutes 50 minutes before sunset um, there's no real light at the moment it's a bit flat we do have um, kind of some wispy clouds in the sky uh, although it is quite overcast and I don't know whether they're going to catch the light but what I'm going to be be doing this I'm going to do two things I'm going to go down closer to the lighthouse or closer to the um, the cliff and I'm going to be trying to get a composition which involves a lower down shot a bit different than you normally see um, and I'm probably going to try to do some long exposures there and see if I can bring out some definition in these skies I'll probably be looking at a fine arty type um, black and white shot get that out of the way um, and then what I'll do after that is I'll come back to the cliff up probably around about the same time that the sun's setting see if we can get any colours in those um, skies and what happens, see whether uh, any light appears on the side of the, the lighthouse or anything like that. To be honest with you, I've not actually looked to where the sun is setting this evening, so it might not get the light anyway. It might be just one of those shots that isn't going to happen, but we might get some nice light in the skies. Um, I'm going to crack on now, get out, get down there and um, set up at the first location, so I'll catch up with you in a few minutes time. Right, down at the lighthouse. Now this is the first shot. Sorry, there's not much uh, B-roll in this one. I've managed to mislay my um, gimbal. Um, I've not really got anything else to set up that's quick to uh, video me on the way down. Hopefully gonna get this one in the bag and then get up to the top before the color really kicks off. It is starting to, to turn slightly, to be honest. Um, this one, like I said earlier, I don't really want to be um, a colour shot. I want it to be more like a fine arty long exposure. Um, and what I'm going to try and do is try and get some um, colours um, in this um, in this sky here. Just not colour, sorry. Try and get some definition in this sky. There are a few highlights amongst it, um, and those highlights, hopefully, in black and white. Um, not sure if it needs to be a long exposure exactly yet, um, but hopefully those highlights will work. Um, probably going to be going for a portrait shot, just simply because um, it's going to get more in the frame. Um, got nothing on there at the moment. Why is that? I'm still on. Um, here we go. It's one of those things that probably could. I, do with being a HDR this because it is so dark um, beside it. The cliff's so dark, sorry, compared to the sky. Um, don't actually need a wide angle lens like I thought, to be honest. Um, I am actually shooting just with the 16 to 35 mil and even fully zoomed in, I'd say you really want to go a bit tighter. Um, that being said, I want to get the sky in on this. And what I'm doing now is I'm just moving the um, spot metering around on the lens um, simply because um, what that does reef expose it to those parts and I can just check the detail and the composition um, I'm not going to be having too much negative space on the right of this image it's pretty much going to be um, just the cliff the lighthouse which is in the corner which you can see and the sky Right, um, what I'm going to do now is, as I want as much definition in that sky as possible, I'm going to first of all just check whether my polarizer filter is going to have any effect. You don't need to bother screwing this in, you can just do it with your eyes. Um, it's making the sea a lot darker, which is what you'd expect, so that's probably going to go on. Uh, if I can find my stuff. Worst thing with these is getting the thread to start. There we 
we go. Polarizer's going on. Right, let's get that set back up. What I'm gonna do is re-expose for the C now, just so I can see the difference the polarizer's making. There you go, polarizer's on. What I might do with this shot is I might just do a port, uh, panoramic stitch, actually. Might look quite nice just going across the, um, the sea there. Right, next thing is I want a grad filter. Problem with grad filters here is it's going to um, darken that um, top of the, the peak, but it's a fine arty shot. It shouldn't matter too much. Right, that's help, helping deal with the sky now. I'm just going to literally autofocus um, on the end of the rock there, and I'm going to check that. Yeah, lighthouse looks like it's sharp. Just double check it again. Right, I'm going to be shooting at an ISO of 50. I want it to be a long exposure, like I said. Um, I'm going to shoot in the F14 first of all. I just want to see what that comes out like. Um, that's going to give a tiny bit of movement in the cloud, not too much, um, but it might give me some um, nice textures and stuff like that. It's not too long. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's quite nice that time-wise. Um, the sky is quite light still. It's not as dark as I want. Um, but what I'm going to do is leave it like that because I'll be able to bring that down in post. I'm just going to sweep it around for the next image. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing some uh, panoramic stitches as well from down here. It is actually quite a nice composition. That, that six second image is just given enough to take the sharpness out of the clouds, but it's given me... Um, kind of the smoothness in the water that I want. I'm going to do one more or maybe two more stitches on that just so that I can make it into a, more of a landscape shot. Otherwise I end up with quite a square crop. I oh, actually some nice clouds over this way, get some nice definition. We have some colour in the sky over this side as well. I'm hoping um, when I get back to the top in a minute it should Give me quite a nice sky. Right, it's going to be the last one from that. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to stop rabbiting on anymore, but um, I'm going to basically set up and I'm going to try and get the camera as low as I can, potentially go slightly around to the right of the cliff here. And what that's going to allow me to do is try and get as much emphasis of, of the sky in the scene as I can. Um, I'm trying to, going to try and bring the mood down as much in that sky. I might take the polarizer off and go to an ND and try and get a really long exposure. It's going to take me quite a while to do that. I'm going to crack on with that and hopefully I'll catch up with you at the next point, which will be at the top, probably in about five, ten minutes time. Right, I rushed to the top, although I did get here in time actually, I got here just around sunset. Still got some really nice colours in this tiny little band which um, you probably can't see exposing on the camera very well, but you should be able to see the difference between the, the big overcast sky. Um, but it's still a really nice scene, it's going to be very very blue hourish these shots. Um, 
but there's some really, really cracking definition in the sky. And it's not just kind of um, black clouds. It's actually got loads of nice color in it. And the color is just a pure reflection of what's coming off the sea um, going into the sky. So it's nice blue clouds and nice blue water. Uh, there is a bit of um, kind of froth and stuff in the water as well, just where the water's blowing around the rocks. Um, so there should be a tiny bit of um, detail, bit of interest in the water. Um, it is starting to get quite dark on the lighthouse now, unfortunately. Um, and I keep on running into the um, problem of um, having to delete files off the memory card, which is purely um, me being unorganized. Um, but the images are actually coming out really nicely. So what I'm going to be doing now is just continuing uh, the sweeps around getting some more and more images. What I'm basically doing at the moment is lots of panoramic stitches. I want some kind of, um, hang on one second. What I want to do with this really is I want to be using the portrait uh, sorry about using the portrait on the camera to get as much um, of the scene and as much as the sky but i'm using the panoramic stitch to convert those portraits into a landscape image i don't want to be going too much of a panoramic stitch i just want it to be something that resembles a normal kind of picture that way if i want to do a portrait image um, i've got those but if I want to do a landscape shot, I've also got those as well. So it's kind of um, suiting both needs. Um, I'm taking a composition at the moment, which involves the rock here. You can actually see the sweeping bend where I'm stood. Um, and it's quite nice because the bit of the cliff here, which you can't really see, kind of smooths into the bit of the, the cliff below me. And it almost looks like one complete cliff. So it's given a bit of an optical illusion, really. Um, but what I'm going to be doing now is probably do some more tele shots with it. I'm going to be zooming in further to the lighthouse and trying to do some slightly different images involving that. I've still got the soft grad on. What I might do now is take that soft grad off, put the hard grad on because the top of the nice point here is just below the horizon. And that means I can use the hard grad to really bring out some definition in those skies. I might marry it with the soft grad as well, just to go for a really moody shot, something that might work in a black and white, maybe a bit fine arty again. Um, probably leave it at that. So, sorry it's been a bit rushed this one. I kind of left it um, to getting out the van really a bit too late. It's one of those things, I'm having nightmare problems with this memory card at the moment. My, for some reason my computer or laptop's playing up and I can't delete images off it. I can only copy them, which means I keep on having to delete them off the actual uh, camera itself um, and obviously in between locations I'm having to back up the sunset here at the moment is 20 to 3 and um, sunrise is uh, was at 9 o'clock this morning so between going through different locations and having lunch and a few other place things I end up doing um, there's not really much time to do admin stuff as well um, I'll leave it at that um, I'll try and get some footage now so you can see the area to put in with this one thanks for watching this one um, like I said in the last one if you have liked it please give it a thumbs up um, and consider subscribing what I'm going to be doing after this point um, I don't know it's either me staying in sky and hoping tomorrow is better weather and maybe going to the ferry pools or making my way back onto the mainland um, trying to do some compositions there tomorrow i've got to head back home kind of in the morning on wednesday which is the day after so i might make a move and get off sky tonight just so i'm a bit closer to home again thanks for watching and i'll catch up with you on the next one mm -hmm.